Alhamdulillah, deep down from my heart, I accepted Islam and said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. I testify that there is no God but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is His messenger. Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for guiding me to the straight path. This shahada is the key to entering paradise. Any individual who truly believes that this shahada is true from their heart is already on the first step to the right path. The next step is to establish Iman on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His books and all Prophet, peace be upon them, and the Day of Judgment, predestiny, the belief of heaven and hell and the fate. When an individual believes this, even if a single belief is missing, he or she falls out of the believer's category. Whoever asks with an open, pure and true heart is guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how can one come to the guidance? Number one, clean your hearts for your Lord alone. Number two, bow down to God alone and ask Him for His true guidance to the straight path. Number three, keep your mind open and focus on why God has created us. What is our purpose? Why are we here? For further more clarity on these questions, you can watch Dr. Lawrence Brown's segment titled The Big Question. I will also include it in the description box, inshallah. Number 4. What does God want from us? And are we doing what He wants us to do? The path which God has told us, are we even on it or not? If we claim we are on the right path, then what is the proof? Open your heart and ask authentic scholars. Once you get your authentic answer, accept it. Don't listen to the random people. Look for the logical and reasoning as well as evidence. Number five, always go back to your religion's books. Rather than following what people do and say, verify everything first before trusting everything. No matter whichever religion you follow, go back to the true teachings of your religion and go back to your books. Inshallah, God willing, God will guide you because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised in the Holy Quran, whoever wants to know the right path, they shall be guided. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him also said that if you walk to Allah, your Lord will run to you. Subhanallah, glory be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look how great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. It is devastating to know where we are and what state we are in. We have forgotten the supreme merciful creator. We have left Al Ghafur, Al Rahman, Al Rahim, Al Malik to bow to the idols. We have degraded ourselves this much that we leave God and go worship or follow that man has created and not the creator of all. So devastating. Please think about your Creator and all the signs around you from your Creator. There are signs in everything He has created. 
Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the Almighty Creator, says in the Holy Quran, Surah Imran, Ayah 190. Inna fi khalqis samawati wal ardi waqti la fi layli wal nahar wal nahar la ayati li ulil albab Indeed, in the creation of heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to say in ayah 191 Alladheena yadkuroon Allah qiyamun wa qoodun wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaroon wa yatafakkaroon fi qalqis samawati wal ard Rabbana ma khalakta hada batila subhanaka fakina adaban nahar Whoever remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while sitting or standing or laying on their sides and give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth saying, Our Lord, you did not create this aimlessly. Exalted are you above such a thing. Then protect us from the punishment of the fire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the hellfire. Ameen. Once again, Alhamdulillah, I am very thankful for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has paved the way for me through His guidance and through His guided people. The individuals around me, my friends, and especially for my co-worker, who showed me the light and the noor of Islam. He acted as my door to enter this amazing, beautiful and peaceful religion. Because without his help, I would have never seen the truth hidden within Guru Nanak's teachings. Alhamdulillah, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this man showed me the darkness I was once in and brought light into my life and guided me every step of the way and I am proud to say he is now my husband Alhamdulillah and Alhamdulillah I cannot thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enough Alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided more people through me to see the light of Islam. I am so happy to say that my mother also accepted Islam before leaving this world behind and died as a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her the highest status in paradise. Ami. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the rest of my family and all those individuals wanting to come to the straight path who are lost and confused Ameen and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for them Ameen whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides no one can lead him astray and whom he makes astray no one can lead him back to the right path thank you so much for your time and for making it to the end I know it is long video, but these points are very crucial. This is Sima Malik and this was my journey from Sikhism to Islam. Zakallah Khair for watching. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make easy for you. Assalamu alaikum. Shukran ya Rabbi, shukran. Hadayt qalbi, shukran. Don't be shook on